I mean, eventually Cuba, I think, we're all under the impression that eventually Cuba will open. Um, so if you had the opportunity to go, would you? And then, um, and I don't mean just to visit, would you, would you move there? And then how, either way, how would you see your role? Well, I, I, um, I would not move to Cuba. I would, I would go back to Cuba. I would love to be able to visit Cuba. My life is in the United States. I've been here since I was seven years old. I'm an American, I'm a Cuban American. You know, so um, I would not move. I mean, hopefully Cuba opens up. We, we don't know, really, because, you know, last year they had 6,600 political arrests. It's the largest number in, like, 10 years. You know, the repression in Cuba is still alive and well. You know, this, this stuff that they're talking about at the end of the film, that still exists. You know, there, there are still people being taken from their homes and put away. There's still dissidents. There's still acts of repudiation. It just happened, one just happened has been programmed by uh, Capitol Hill Cubans, who does a great job to do that. Uh, people at a minister, at a, a minister or a priest's house outside with photographs. Now the, the beauty of the, the access of the internet and the media age is that a lot more information is able to get out about what's going on there. But don't kid yourself, the same repression that has existed for 54 years continues in Cuba and is heightened at this point. Okay, so I pray that there will be a transformation for Cuba at some point that people will recognize that, and my role is to get that message out. That's my role now, that's my role until the change happens.